amigos! Welcome to my channel. My name is Yana and you're watching Curves on the Road. Today I have a video for you about Mexico. Exactly 10 things that you should know before coming. Number one, do you need visas to go to Mexico if you want to work here or stay quite a significant amount of time? Yes. Otherwise, if you're just coming for holidays, you should be fine coming just with your passport. Uh, that applies for European Union and the US. If you're coming from other parts of the world, please check the requirements from your embassy. And the information I also have is from Brazil. You normally need visas, but if you have visas for the US or you have permanent residency in Europe, you don't need that. No vaccination, this country doesn't require any yellow fever, anything like that, so you're good with that matter. Be ready that you might want to bring some medicine for the Montezuma's revenge. Number two, people. People are super friendly here. The Mexicans are really, really cool people. The only problem is they don't speak much English, except for the big resorts. If you're going somewhere outside of the touristic zones, you need Spanish. You will need quite a lot of Spanish. And actually, even sometimes when they understand English, they will not use it. They will just want to reply to you actually in Spanish instead of English. So be ready. Also, some of the tour guides say half of the sentence in Spanish and the same half in English. And sometimes they forget, so they say half the sentence in Spanish and the second half in English. And you'll have to figure out what, what it means. I can see right on your faces. You don't understand absolutely nada. For me, it was like a big, intense Spanish course. And I learned a little bit. I'm currently learning Portuguese, so there are some similarities. It's good to come a little bit prepared, knowing at least how to count to 10, say thank you, please, morning, evening, right, left, these kind of basics. So if you already know that, you should be fine. And number three, my favorite topic, food. I love myself some Mexican food. They have a lot of wonderful, wonderful meals. Savory, sweet, you name it, they have it. Be careful. When you ask a Mexican if the food is spicy, he will always tell you that no. But some of the sauces, especially salsa verde and everything that contains chili peppers, just try a little bit on your fork and if you're fine with the spiciness go wild but don't just put everything on your plate thinking you can handle it you might end up feeling a little bit uncomfortable that day and the day after so what can you have here as food well uh, we all have it at home right like it's not so exotic like there are Mexican restaurants all around Czech and I think most of the world has at least touch of Mexican cuisine here or there so it will not be completely shocking new taste for you I love myself a burrito or a quesadilla they have very good those super hot pans you know fajitas either with chicken beef or seafood all super good and from the sweet stuff my favorites will always be churros which are like pastry straps with covered in cinnamon sugar and you dip them in dark chocolate oh my god that's that's so so special you will definitely not be hungry especially if you're coming into one of these all-you-can-eat resorts they have fantastic beef fantastic meat fish everything is just too good to pass and with the drinks well 
tequila, right? I mean, we're in the country of tequila, so you should try some. Or if you want that famous drink, everybody thinks, I thought it was tequila, but it's actually mezcal. It's a special kind of tequila, and mezcal has the little warm at the bottom, and you can challenge your friends if they would dare to eat it. I'm not sure how I feel about that, haven't tried it and probably won't. If you're not that much into alcoholic drinks, you can always have a coconut water in these countries where the coconuts are natural. Yeah, you, you can't go wrong with that. Let's talk about weather, shall we? Um, it's hot here. Let's sum it up and we can move to another topic. No, seriously, I, I want you to come in March, April so that it's not terribly hot and we can enjoy some cool, maybe shady days during the sightseeing. One, one single day it was kind of cloudy and there was even a chance of rain. The rest was over 30 degrees Celsius and super hot. So there is not exactly a cold season in Mexico. But I think summers will be, will be warmer than this. Anyways, you can come all year long and the weather will be fantastic. We have experienced just one really strong pouring rain in the beginning. So be careful not to come in the rain season or there is also a hurricane season. So just check the forecast when you're planning your holidays. History and geography. We haven't seen much of Mexico at this trip, to be honest, only the Yucatan Peninsula. And uh, we only stayed near Cancun and we were doing trips that are doable in one day from Cancun. There's definitely much more to see. The history is so rich. Actually, I've learned, thanks to Google, that the Mexican flag has a really oh, okay. long history. The Aztecs actually were told by their god that they should found their city where they see an eagle on a cactus eating a serpent. Based on the legend, it took them a pretty while before they managed that, but here it is, the city of Mexico. We went just for a couple of trips. I'll have a separate video with the itinerary what we did here in two weeks. Don't expect super full packed one. It's basically one week of running around the historical sites, snorkeling, diving, etc. And the other week of doing nothing. But if you want the details about it, keep an eye on my channel. I'll have it there. The most important thing is when you organize your trips, you can either do it from home, book it online, have everything ready before you come, or if you want to book it here, there are lots of tours from the airport to the hotels, everywhere you can find someone who will advise you which tour to take. Driving in Mexico, after Egypt, Brazil, Thailand, Mexico doesn't seem to be as crazy as the other parts of the world. So I would say if you want to rent a car to do the experiences on your own, feel free. They're driving on our European part of the street, so that's easier for you. And the traffic is not that drastic. So I think you should be fine if you rent a car. There are in every hotel there is a car rental service at the airport, there's one. So definitely you can rent a car and move around because Mexico is the same as US. Without a car, there are not that much public transport and you might find yourself that some supermarkets or some attractions are much easier reachable by car. If you need an internet or calls, it's better to buy the SIM card here. We bought ours in OXO, which is like a small supermarket, something like 7-Eleven. Highly recommend that because the ones at the airport are overpriced. So we'll be much better off if you just buy them in some of the supermarkets or where the locals normally get their SIM cards. We got four gig for, I don't know, 200 pesos, something like that. So super cheap. 
super convenient. You just put the SIM card in your phone. Everything works perfectly. Outlets are the same as in the US, most, in most of the cases. So if you're coming from the US, you're fine. If you're coming from Europe, you'll need the regulator for the US. So all was good. Also, some of the hotels have just the USB outlets, so you can just use your USB and it's like super convenient. The currency here is Mexican pesos. It's almost the same as Czech crowns. So for us, it was very cool. We didn't have to have a calculator. We just said like, would we pay Czech money in this? It's a little bit less, but we were like, okay, we can compare it ideally to the Czech crowns. Here's the ratio to US dollars. It's basically around 20 pesos per dollar or euro. We didn't, we were worried that without pesos, we will not be able to move around at all. But in the touristic zones, they accept dollars everywhere. Is the exchange ratio convenient for you? Hell no. Of course, you'll pay more if you pay in American dollars, but the first day when you can't find any open exchange office, don't panic, just pay in, in dollars. Also, they accept cards in many, many places, restaurants, shops, so you should be fine even with that. But keep in mind, if you're using the contactless or virtual credit cards, not all of them have the chip. So be ready to have the, the physical card to insert it into the machine if need be. Let's talk a little bit about hygiene. I believe Mexico is actually better than its reputation. It's one of the parts of the world where somewhere you'll find that you're not supposed to throw toilet paper in the toilet. In some places it's there, in some places it's not. Would I dare drinking water from the tap? Absolutely not. Were there warnings not to do it in the hotels? Not really, but you always got a lot of drinkable water, so I wouldn't risk it. I still had stomach problems avoiding drinking water from the tap. If you have a strong stomach, by all means, buttons up. But for me, yeah, I just wouldn't risk that. And remember Sex and the City, the movie where Charlotte opened her mouth in the shower in, in Mexico. Yeah, um, no, like, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't risk it. It's not recommended. Just, you know, stick to the bottled water. With the ice, I'm, I'm not sure. Always the urban myth. Some say that the water is perfectly fine. Some, not so much. What you can expect from this place, basically. You have huge history. You have amazing sea. The Caribbean Sea is miraculous. It's so cool. Caribbean Sea, you can just come lay down at the sea and you'll still be absolutely happy. And the snorkeling, diving around here, magical. There is real life, unbelievable under the surface of the sea. So if you're a diver, check this location up. I'll actually have to come back in July because that's when the whale sharks come to the coast of Mexico and I definitely want to swim with those. And also there is hatching of the turtles at some beaches. So that's what I would love to see as well. So the, my usual final point is, would I come back? Actually, I'm already making plans to come back. So this, this destination really got to my heart. I'm definitely happy. I was happy here. I loved it. And there's so much I didn't get a chance to do yet. And I really want to. So if you got inspired, I have plenty of videos about the each little trips I did. So you can check that out, see what would work for you. And yeah, follow me for more videos like this. If you want to travel with me, it's awesome. If you want to give me a travel thumb up, I would really appreciate it. And I upload a new content every Sunday, so don't worry, there will always be something new for me. For now, thank you very much for watching. Have a wonderful rest of the day and bye.
Really? Where is he? Oop! Perfect. Uh, do it in the pool, they said. It'll be fun, they said.